Go this way, I have no idea. This stuff, I guess. Dragons, Doctor Who, Minis, World of Tanks. Oh, 
No, well, they're, they're shrink wrap. There's so much stuff, I don't even know what I'm going to look for. I don't even know what I should be looking for. Excuse me? Let me go this way. Sure, why not? And he's holding it hostage, and he doesn't know where it is. How's it going, Chris? Good, how are you? Good. You want a little rundown on what's new? Yeah, let's let's see it. I've never heard of it, so. You've never heard of it. So new or how to play would be oh, good. Oh, <laughs> so you would be my first customer of the day, Chris. So this is Agricola, 15th anniversary edition. Okay. So one of the top games in, in all of games, right? Um, I think it's like 30th on the list right now. So Okay. Um, it is a worker placement game. So you are going to take your workers, you know, come out here at different spots and do those things. Are you familiar with the concept of worker placement? Yep. All right. So you when you go do your thing, you get your resources, you're collecting your resources. Um, at the end of each um, stage, there's what's called a harvest. During a harvest, you're going to harvest your crops, okay. breed your people, and then breed your animals. Okay. Right? The name of the game is get the most victory points. You get victory points by being a diverse farmer. So by having lots of fields, lots of pastures. So fields are going to be these, right? So you got fields. You're going to plant. I oh, can find one. Right? We're going to build our wooden rooms into clay rooms or stone rooms. Okay. And then we're going to plant in our fields. We're going to have pastures that our animals are going to live in. Okay. Then we can come over here and we can cook those animals and eat them because we have to feed our people. We can also grow our family so we can get some more. They live in different rooms. That's okay. A quick gist. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. How long does a game usually last? Uh, the box says 30 minutes per player, but we all know that's a lot. Yeah. So and when I play with my group, it's usually about two and a half to three hours. But it's like four, a, players. four players. Okay, not a bad. And, and that's with all of us being gamers, but you know everybody forgetting the rules because they haven't played in a year. Yeah. So what is what does the game cost? Uh, well, this is the 15th anniversary edition. Okay. Which will come out in October. Okay. I'll wait to buy it buy this one yeah uh, but it'll be in the low hundreds okay um, if you buy the base game right now they have I think it's like 65 bucks okay um, it's one to four players there's a five to six player expansion and a bunch of other expansions that all comes with the 15 no uh oh so what comes with this is the base game and then two uh, decks uh, the a deck and the B deck so there's a bunch of different cards that change how you play so the cards are gonna give you different um, minor or major improvements to your farm. Okay. So these are major improvements. These are our minor improvements. So we get a mini pasture, or maybe we need a three field rotation, right? Okay. So each thing's going to help you. And then you also can improve your workers by teaching them things so they get lessons, which are called occupations. So, like now, this person's a cattle feeder or okay. a sheep whisperer. So, that's going to make them better. And so, those different decks change the cards that are available. Okay. Which makes every game. You're never going to play the same two games of this game. Perfect. All right, yeah. Let me take a picture so I know what I'm looking at here. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Yep. Zach, how you doing? It's a great game.
just want to see it all. <coughs> it's over here on this side. Yeah. Oh, those are the games. Okay. So now I might be in How are we doing? Yes. So what's this game? Carcassonne? Yeah, awesome. You're building the city of Carcassonne. Okay. Um, this is the 20th anniversary box of it. Man, everyone's got anniversaries today. <laughs> <laughs> um, it comes with the river expansion, the Abbott, and then a special set that only comes from there. So it's a town building game then? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You're playing tiles onto the board. Um, you're supposed to be face down when you play. Okay. Um, and then you match them somewhere onto the board. So either attached to the castle, attached to the road, um, or if they can attach to the field. Okay. Um, the object of the game is to get the most points. Um, you get points by completing roads, completing castles, or surrounding the uh, chapters. Um, you also get points at the end of the game um, for farmers that are in the area of completing castles. Okay. And it's how many how many turns is it? You just move. It's until you're done all the tiles. But okay. I can give you a quick six, twelve turn game if you are interested. Oh, that's all right. Maybe <laughs> maybe in the I just started walking. I know. Yeah. Oh, there's so much going on. This is my I first one. I'm so. I'm demoing at the end of the game at day anyway. Everyone yeah. today is trying to get games as quick as possible. I don't even know what games to get. I'm just. <laughs> uh, first Gen Con. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. A lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see what that is over there. Legendary years. Don't know what all these are. They want to play them all. Howdy, howdy. How are we doing? As one, uh, as well as one can when they're in a feeble fortress. <laughs> So what is the best game in the bulk buy? Okay, so I would recommend Butt Gusting Games. Anyone who has gotten them has really enjoyed them. Okay. It's redneck themed, and any purchase of that gets you a flamingo. Which one was that? The Gut Busting Games. So from that area. Okay. Yeah, they're really fun. This is also rather popular. Okay. We are doing, so anything that you see here is 10 bucks, two for 18, four for 32. Is this the ding and death section? Oh, this is just, we have a large inventory of these games, so these are all yeah, right. Do you have bags? We do indeed. We do indeed. Oh, I might, I might buy something for the bag. <laughs> Understandably so, I need 10 bucks for a game, I guess. 10 bucks is good, yeah. How is this one? Have you played it? Oh, no, you don't? Yeah, I haven't played that one, but it is a very popular game. Any, any of the gut busting or redneck games? Yeah, that's what he was saying. Are, are, Never heard of any of them, so I'm just going in blind. That's well, the people who have purchased it, we just had a lady come in. Uh, purchased a family it. Member, a family member who took her copy, so she was just getting the Gotcha. Yeah. So if you, if you play it, they, it's a very popular game. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for that. You'll go for that? Um, cash or credit message? Uh, I can do cash. Okay. And I get a flamingo, right? You do get a flamingo awesome. on purchase. Would you also like a bag? Uh, sure. Careful, though, that pin is... Oh, it's a pin. Oh, geez, I'm going to stab myself there. If you want, I can open the box and put it in the box for you. That's all right. I'll figure it out. I'll throw uh, it in, like, here. and. 20? Yeah.
Thank you. We'll throw that right in there. I know, trying to figure out how do you, what makes a two player, you know? Different than normal two then. Oh, I could answer that. Uh, so, this is a cooperative game. This is a more big cooperative game. One game down. Don't know what I got, but I got it. The rule says he can choose to move from any of those four spaces. So he's going to say, I'm going to ride the same thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll go over there.
Garden Nation. Is that the one I saw? Let me see this one. No, I don't think that's the one. Yes. I'd like to find it. First time, so really oh, enjoying it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You. I think it sounds cool, and then you watch it, and it's like, what do I watch? Yeah, the main character's too whiny. <laughs>
all downhill from there. Oh, this shiny stuff. Oh, let's go this way. I have no idea where we're going. Just fun. I stream it, but not many people watch. <laughs> I have a couple of buddies that can't make it, so they're watching right now, and you know, it's first time here, so I don't even know where I'm going. I look like a lost person walking around. So what do So all of these are dumb questions because I don't know anything about cameras. But my girlfriend wants me to wear one. So you know, um, Black and Star Cruiser for Star Wars. Yep. It's like a weird like hotel experience LARP thing. Yep. My girlfriend's taking me to that in September, but she wants me to wear one of these. And I'm, we've been like shopping around for a thing, but like... Um, I had a GoPro and I, I have that with me. It's just, uh, I like this better. I like the angle on it a little bit better. Um, but they don't make them anymore, so you have to buy them all on eBay. But like a lot of people like to use them because they have a good angle and they, they just work all the time. Um, but yeah, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. You can scale them up or down. Mainly just for myself, but you know, whatever. Can I, can I interest you in a fancy little man? Sure. Is this for... So, uh, Eldritch Foundry, uh, we do just miniatures. Oh, you just make miniatures. Okay, awesome. Uh, and it's got a name on it, so you'll know where to find us. Good guys. Is it mainly for, like... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or for like a variety of games that... I mean, it's for whatever games you need a custom miniature board. Okay. Yeah, but mostly uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. They are, yeah, we start yeah, we... out very often. Starfinder, etc. Other, some... you know, basically a lot of DT. Uh, okay. Warhammer and Fire? Still games. But yeah, if you got a custom you can design it yourself and we'll ship it to you. I think I might have seen you online because I was looking at custom minis and oh, yeah, you, yeah. Might, you probably popped up. Order things is like your boards plus, and then awesome. Thank you. Well, good luck. There we go. So this is just like a regular. Yeah. Uh, only but all your I need to find a hat. Very loose. Somebody gets a table and walks away. It comes undone, but it's all really locked in solid. Do the tournament tells a lot to get What's up? Uh, they sit. I want to look at Ruth. I mean, I'm not interested in it. In right. game, so. Is Root a bigger game? I think it's uh, it's it started out as a board game, but now it's a role playing game also. Okay, yeah, I think I've seen the board game, and I, I was looking. I'm like, man, that's just a book, and I. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is the officially licensed RPG. So we're separate companies, but we got the rights to uh, make a game with the same. Stance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put these in your backpack. Yeah, okay. And put these with you. Promo <laughs> cards. Zip code. Four eight three six two. Uh, yes, please. Email or text. Uh, let's go text two four eight. Two four eight. Six three five. Six three five. Zero two four six. Alright, there you go. All set? Yeah. So how does how does this one work compared to the 
it's the board game. It looks like well, the it's an RPG, side is the so it's, more, side. it's obviously more oh, open-ended, wow. you know, okay. like D&D yep. yep. kind like of stuff. That. Make your own story. But it's based on the, uh, everyone plays as a vagabond. Okay. Uh, and it's based on the Powered by the Apocalypse system, which is a system that's meant to be more streamlined than, like, D&D. Okay. So instead of having to build all your own stuff, like characters with all the stat charts and everything, you get preset characters. Okay. That you can add your own details to, and it makes it a lot easier to get into it because you don't have to spend so long making your own stuff. It just it gives you a lot of building blocks, and then you can make your own story on top of it. So, is there like a map or a story to follow, or? Uh, there is one quick start adventure in this book. There are two two quick start adventures in this expansion. I think there's three in this. There's four. Four in this. Okay. And then we also are giving away the Talon Hill Quick Start Free. So there's a lot of Quick Start adventures to choose from. Okay. Uh, depending on what you uh, want, you know, want to go for. And what's what's it cost for it? This is everything you need to play. It's forty dollars. Oh, okay. And that comes with the extra Quick Start adventure. Yes. Yeah. We have the, uh, the extra one that's going to be free. Yeah. Uh, give me the the best adventure set. I guess that whatever. I don't know. Here's <laughs> Bruce. We'll go for it. So that. Let me open this up and get the Sure. And that'll get me like a couple adventures then. Yes. Do I need cards or anything or? No, no, no. This is. These are all extra. These are like NPCs for the game master to put out. Okay. And this is just like equipment if you want to have cards representing your equipment so that you instead of like just writing it down. But everything except this is supplemental. How much for the the NPC? Deck. Deck is twenty dollars. Twenty. So it's forty for this and twenty for the deck. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for that. We'll grab the deck too. All right. How are you guys doing? Uh, for the deck, if we need more, then we Oh, they're over there. Um, you know, in the interest of efficiency, I'll give you that one, and I'll get another one to display in a minute. All right, perfect. Thank you. Do I need dice or anything, or is that just? Uh, no. Those are these are just they look fun. Okay. Um, just making sure I'm not missing something. I should just buy while I'm here. No, I mean you need two d6s to play the game. Okay, I got that. Yeah. Yeah, I got lots of those. Four book, Talon Hill, and you got the Denizen deck. I think with tax it's 65. Okay, sorry about that. No, no, it's all right. I, I, I thought Cash was just it. like, hey, here's. I, I just do what they tell me. <laughs> uh, I think, okay, now I have to find a $5. Okay. That's not a problem. Just check out Cash. <laughs> was there something like the coupon book I was supposed to give you guys, or is that for the. That's for the talent okay. quick start. Let's see if I have a five in my room. Or I can just... I don't want to slow you down, I'll figure oh, out. Oh, you're fine. You look, you look my first time here, I don't know where I'm going anyway, so... Fair enough. Oh, I have a five, so give me the ten back. Oh, all right. I had a five from last night, it was in my pocket, hiding. All right, awesome, you're all good. Perfect, thank you. you want a receipt? Uh, no, that's all right. All right. Thank you. Yep.
What's up? Sure. Thank you. Oops, sorry. This way. Mugs. Shirts over here, maybe they have hats. I don't know. Like D and D extra adventures or like something? No, these come on the spy hander uh, system. Okay. Yeah. We have these are D and D based over there. Um, Neverland and yeah. Oz. Okay. Yeah, these are based on the spy hander game system. And then this year's a little D and D um, compendium of adventures. Okay. Cool. Thirty-five and Neverland is twenty. Oh, 
I'll inspire those. Nice. <laughs> Do you have the metal? Oh, this way. Sorry? That seems good. And then what I need. See if we can go this way. Oh, 
Sure. Thank you. I mean, free coffee for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see if we can get back made. Would you like free coffee? Okay. Yes. Do you need this? Welcome. Free coffee. 
Oops, sorry. Okay. And if you need to see